Hey Paranormal Explorers, it's Exploring Arda again. Welcome to the channel and thank you, thank you for watching my videos, really appreciate it. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. This week, yeah this week, last week I wasn't here because I had some technical difficulties with little, some new equipment but everything is taken care of and yeah we're back on the tracks. So this week will be my tools of the trade. Yeah, the tools I use to do some paranormal investigations. So right, let's jump right into it. All right, let's go. Yeah, the first one, EMF meter, or this one, the K2. Yeah, you've seen it in many paranormal investigations, many YouTube videos. This one is used by all paranormal investigators and this one as well this one is uh, a digital one that is uh, with numbers and you have emf and electricity meters so and this one is just basically well just lights so yeah those two are very useful and uh, yeah are used by many investigators and um, emf meters Yeah, the other one is the flashlight or the torch. I use the mini mag light. You can use any kind of torch or flashlight that can light up by just turn it, turning it. And uh, yeah, basically you just like put it right where that contact with the light lights up and closes. So yeah, basically the entity will help close or open up the contact and will communicate with you with the use of this torch and uh, yeah it's very useful I have I had some pretty compelling pretty uh, nice um, responses with it and many paranormal investigators use it it's been used in the past by taps by uh, Ghost Adventures, and uh, yeah, man, really nice light. Yeah, the other one is, yeah, the digital recorder, or any kind of digital recorder you can find on the market to catch up those EVPs, those electronic voice phenomenons that you can have. It's not the Panasonic VR60 that it's worth like thousands of dollars on eBay, but any kind of uh, 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 voice recorder, electronic voice recorder. Uh, it ranges from $35 to a thousand bucks. So yeah, those are very useful. And even though if it's not a DR60, if an entity wants to come through, well, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. cat balls. Those cat balls, you've seen those in the many videos right <laughs> yeah those are very 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 useful because like those little lights you just like open it up just lay it on the ground and sometimes when entities want to communicate they'll just close up the contact uh, that will like basically light up and sometimes entities will push on those I've seen videos of cat balls moving and just Go around on YouTube, you, you, you're gonna see those, you're gonna see those. But never happened to me, but had some quite interesting responses with those as well. So, there you go, got ball. Yeah, and a spirit box, spirit box, any kind of radio, AM, FM radio that scans through AM or FM, upwards or downwards. Uh, you have many kind of models of spirit boxes, so you can use it with a nice reducer to um, cancel that white noise. 
on you you can buy a portal big portal that is already have those uh, distortions or uh, noise cancelling um, devices so you can only hear what is coming through the spirit box and yeah I had some quite uh, interesting responses with uh, one of those and yeah you'll see it in uh, some future videos and uh, yeah spirit box yeah the good old rampod the ram pod yeah that's very useful and it will use the MF like the MF meter but this one will basically have an EMF around his antenna and if an other EMF or other uh, electromagnetic field come and break this one well it will light up like you've seen in, in many videos and uh, when something comes near the antenna, you see those lights. And you have the um, temperature sensor right here. Right here, you have a temperature sensor that will give you the, the temperature. If there's a temperature increase, the little LED light will light up red. If there's a temperature drop, well, it will light up blue. And I had some pretty interesting um, interaction with that light it would the, bl the wind was blowing cold but the light was red so that was quite interesting so yeah the red box and finally yeah finally the yes no prism that's my collection that is my my tools Many investigators will use more tools, but me, I use those ones, and the final one I have is this one, the Yes No Prism. I think you have seen those in some videos, some uh, paranormal investigators use it. Uh, I'm eager to use it. Um, yeah, I just want to be eager to see the responses with uh, the Yes No Prism. And basically the yes no problem it's like you have two sensors on each side like right, right there it's calibrating you have two sensors on each side and uh, the sensors on this side if something breaks the sensor well it's gonna light up green to say yes and on this side it's gonna light up red to say no just like that just like that so yeah can't wait to use this little baby and uh, to see the responses that I will have with uh, spirits with this one all right here's some some little news that I not news but well you'll see yeah the news what's new what's coming what's we have this Friday's video coming, and yeah, it's gonna be a little bit shorter than I thought, because when I was editing it, I had like a little surprise at the end, that, yeah, it was shorter than I thought. And somebody decided that it didn't want to be filmed anymore. Yeah, basically I got like, Probably like an hour of black screen. Yep. You'll see it. At least what I have, it's like lots of responses like the other, like last Friday. And yeah, basically it's just, yep. And, but I've got pretty neat stuff coming friendly stuff. I got that investigation with uh, the Queen of Hearts, first investigation that I did with her. And oh, it was a pretty cool investigation. That was neat. That was pretty fun. And I'm going to do another one with the Queen of Hearts and uh, to another cemetery and in the Benton Church. In the same place. A 
that's going to be fun. And what's new? What's new? How about a hoodie coming up? Oh, yeah. Want to see it? Yeah. Pretty neat, right? Yeah, pretty neat, right? All right. But if you help me grow my channel, well, there's going to be one for you. One free hoodie to, well, I don't know, leave a comment. Just tell me that so-and-so person told you about me and you subscribed and that's it. And uh, yeah, help me grow and uh, I'll find a way to know which person that helped me grow. And uh, if there's one of more or one of you and well, it's gonna be probably like two or three hoodies, three hoodies. Never know. So, yeah, uh, the hoodie is in the works and uh, probably will be available for you guys if you want to buy one. And uh, yeah, still doing some amazing videos and uh, back on my feet. <laughs> That's the good news. So I'll be going around and filming and looking for the paranormal again and uh, this September on the 2nd of September I have a big investigation coming again with Trinity Paranormal the girls of Trinity Paranormal and all their team it's a big team because we have a big building to cover and it's gonna be awesome so stick around subscribe please like leave a comment anything just show off to those videos i'm working hard i've been editing for only two weeks about two weeks two and a half weeks i'm doing my best and uh, to uh, deliver some quality videos to you guys and yeah well thanks and if you like what you see well subscribe like it comment and by all means tickle that little bell and you'll get notified when i'm gonna have a career or a new video coming up so take care of yourself watch out bye